instead of showing you step-by-step uh, step every single operation that I did in order to create this, what I thought is I would work backwards and show you the finished piece as you're looking at it here, and then break it down into the various layers or groups um, uh, that we have. Just an aside note, I'm using GIMP 2.6, and just want to let you know that GIMP 2.8 will fully support uh, something called layer groups. And I think that's fantastic. The majority of this work was done in GIMP, and the image size is about 4400 by 4400, and it's approximately 175 mag. Now what I'm doing here is I'm turning off all the layers and just leaving the background. And uh, the background layer, what I did is I simply duplicated it, desaturated it, and turned, turned its mode to overlay. And that's what you're looking at here is the overlay mode of that. And that basically makes it darker or richer uh, as an example. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the, the, the actual border itself. And that's what came in um, from the, the scanned layer. And then uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this on white just to make it a little more uh, clearer for you. And that's a transparent background. That's a white fill background. And um, I needed to darken that layer to, to make it stand out more. And that the darkening came from Inkscape, basically. And then I exported it from Inkscape as a PNG and then pulled it into GIMP here, as you can see. It was too sharp, so I needed to dull it a little bit. So I used a, a Gaussian blur, a very, very minute um, uh, level of that. Next thing I'm going to do is show you the diamonds. I'm turning everything off and just leaving the diamonds, because the diamonds had that special effect on it. And I had to get the diamonds out of this GIMP environment, pull it into Inkscape, do an effect on it called glowing metal and then bring it back into GIMP. So I'm just zooming down here and you can see these were done using the side of the calligraphy pen, uh, not the broad edge but the thin edge on its on its side and then um, basically I filled them in and then you can see the glowing effect that was brought in from Inkscape and then I needed to create red dots and blue dots or diamonds I should say and then the white dots here just bring it out a little bit more, give it a little bit of a highlight because it was too dark. To do the trick to getting the selection, instead of drawing each one of these individually in a, a computer environment, is these dots here. And what I did was I just brushed these dots in using the paintbrush on top, and then I did an alpha to selection. And once I had that selection set, I could then go in and crop out everything else, relieve the dots in, or the diamonds in, and then export that to a PNG, bring it into Inkscape, run the effect on it, and then bring it back into GIMP, and you have that glowing metal uh, effect that's, that's used in GIMP here. Next thing I'm going to show you is the, the, uh, the medallion um, that I used. And, and this was done very, very simply by simply creating a circle, filling it uh, with, uh, with black, and then doing a radial fill from black to a very light, or, or I should say a very dark gray. And then the last step I did on it was a bump map um, based on the texture uh, that you saw earlier in the, in the video here. The next thing I'm showing you is the rings and what started out uh, that you saw there is the drop shadow that was created and that's a slightly darker drop shadow. And then you can see the rings in gold that were created in Inkscape. And then I duplicated this, created an overlay to lighten it a little bit, and give it some more depth. And then the highlights really lighten, lighten the image itself. And I, I really like the way that, that turned out um, for, for the rings themselves. And then, uh, and then the next thing I'm going to show you is uh, uh, basically the image in full. And then we're going to work our way up to the top. And you can see here, it was too light what I had from the scan. And this is from Inkscape. And then now I'm going to zoom out to the full image and just show you the, uh, uh, the credits piece that I did there at the top. And, um, and, and that's it there. That was done in Inkscape uh, using curved text. It's actually trickier than it, than it looks. And then uh, I just want to show you here the center cap because you have to eventually delete the center cap from the calligraphy border, but you want to keep it. So just crop it out, throw it to a separate layer, 
and then you can just turn it off but you can have it there later on if you happen to move your your grid lines or anything like that and that's essentially it